Everybody remember the Occupy movement? Yeah. It was so wonderful in that sort of thing. Um, it was also at a time when, when myself being, you know, the Luddite of the title, was just really getting used to using the computer and specifically YouTube to sort of catch up with what was going on in the world. And there were a tremendous number of images from the Occupy movement, no, mostly nasty ones, um, that were, were available to the observer. Um, this is also in reference to um, the movement in Tibet, which I'm sure many of you know of, where there have been many people, monks, nuns, but also uh, lay people, who have set themselves afire in protest of the Chinese rule. Uh, when I wrote the poem back then, um, this was four or five years ago, I guess it was, um, there were 28 people who had killed themselves in this manner, or injured themselves. Um, when the poem was published, uh, an 18-year-old monk named Zhenyang Lo Sel was the last person recorded, there are now over 150 people who have self-immolated in Tibet because of Chinese rule. As in the films on YouTube of Officer Anthony Bologna, who pepper sprayed two women at the Occupy Wall Street barrier into the hospital while they were doing quite visibly nothing, the officer for this gallantry was docked 10 whole vacation days. Let him be made immortal by the gods of the camera phone. Let him be made visible. As in the Wall Street suits, with their champagne in hand, raising their mock salute from a balcony to the homeless as their signs and tents and warm clothing are herded out of Central Park. As in the policeman who lobbed a flash grenade, bursting in Scott Olson's peaceful protest's face. Let them not go unnoticed. As in Rebecca Collins, who was treated to seeing on YouTube her son get the crap beat out of him for the crime of standing there being gay, and who's gotten her cleat boots on and is kicking the legal shit out of Union Shioto High School in Chillicothe, Ohio. Let's run that one one more time. As in Dawat Seren, as in Fonsog, as in Sevan Norbu, and Kelsang Langchuk, and Tape, monks of Tibet, the flames of whose chosen deaths got stubbornly recorded, as in the nun Paulin Chuetso, whose self-immolation was a moment people passed by in Lhasa, which was caught on camera phone. She blazes for a long moment, then falls. We each have our way of shedding light. The silence, the suffocated thought, the cries from behind the door until they stop, they go into you. The unrecorded bitter acts, the crime of love, the crime of freedom, go into you. And we go on, and we pay the unthinking debt of them until the few, gathering like handfuls the last bits of air they feel, burst into flame. We see them as we surf by, and they too go into us. The air they will live on is our breath. Then they too, like the machines that gave them record, will have their uses. As in when the cameras turn on us, as in when we are set afire, as in when we show the ways we have chosen to occupy ourselves. <laughs>